Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. And if that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid. And I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Come in, Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. I mean, I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too, this kid. With, I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. Uh, you know? Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, but it's not by choice. You know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules. Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? 
I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Hey, wait a minute. That's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this... I think... No, no, I know that... I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but... That's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander's office. There's no one here right now. Leave a message and we'll book you in as soon as we can. Be well. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. We call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is... The point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> Boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business. I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest? For once. It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance. Or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial.
You listen to me, asshole. I never said I was perfect. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means... That's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. My practice is closed now, but you can tune into my new radio show for all your mental health needs. Hello, Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I'm out in the desert now, Doc. My wife left me, my kids. Ah, oh, Christ, we upset some guy, but that wasn't enough. We stole his wife. Now we gotta leave town. I'm living in a trailer with my psycho old buddy Trevor. He keeps killing people, Doc. I mean, you know, shit, me too, but... Ah, oh, Christ, things are just really fucked up again. You've got to make more time for therapy, Michael. This is a major relapse. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just... all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top! And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good. But not as good as taking control before you act out. Yeah, it's easy for you to judge, Doc. I had a tough childhood. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. So, I feel like I'm making progress. You know, not perfect, but sort of better. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm going to have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. Doc. Hey, it's me. Michael. Que pasa, amigo? Not good. Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell me why. I've, I've been a mixed bag, Doc. Tell me about the problem behaviors. <sighs> I've been doing some thinking. I put my feet up, and I reflected. My feet were literally up on a fucking meat hook. You know, I think that did more for my mental health than all these years of therapy combined. I mean, I know what I want now. <sighs> Trevor, he's on to me. That's fine, though. You know, it was bound to happen sooner or later. 
What I want? What I want is I want my family back. I want to make something. I don't want nobody owning me. I'm paying the last of my debt stock, and I'm starting over again. That sounds like a breakthrough, Michael. You needed time to reflect on the work we've done together. Don't undervalue the benefit of these sessions. Have you acted out in any other ways? Things have really been up and down, Doc. I mean, one minute I'm fine, the next the fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. Did I ever claim to be a saint? I fucked up. So fucking what? Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? Hey, I ain't been perfect. But I've been okay. Just skin joints. You know, nothing too bad. Okay, Michael. Well, in the circumstances, I think that's some kind of progress. Ever since I pulled that house apart, Doc, I ain't been myself. Not at all. The thing is, Michael, <laughs> You know me. I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Agreed. I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner, howling in the middle of the night. Fuck that shit. Maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen. Next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back at my office. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. I can't come to the phone right now. If you've been trusted with the premium rate emergency line, call it now. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We had to get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's never a family that needs therapy. Oh, no. It's not Dr. Friedlander, is it? He's a fine therapist and a brilliant mind. He overcharges and underprescribes. Yeah, I can attest to that. The charging part. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. I just meant, you're not fat. I meant, you're, A nice you know. one, Dad. Pick on our insecurities on the way to therapy? Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. I'm fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you! Complaining on the way to the fucking bank! I mean, let's...
Let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No oh, way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right, I'm deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, today's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But, the wife and kids are back under the roof. So, maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out, friend? Tell me. <sighs> sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. It was a fuck up, Doc. I'm still a good guy underneath. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is... I'm in love with you. The fuck you talking okay, about, Well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pubehead. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. My lawyer says you can't prove defamation. Hey, I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! 
this kind of exposure will push you to the help you need. I trusted you, you prick! Don't you want to be famous? Hey, everybody wants to be famous. It's a primal urge. That's my life! Stop and think about it! Deep breaths. Calm. Calm. You fucking head trigger! I poured my heart out to you! And my wallet! Isn't this the attention you were looking for? Hey! Those ain't your secrets to sell! You wanted me to listen to your problems? Now the whole country will listen to your problems. Come back here, asshole! I'll shove your show up your ass, Doc. But there's some guys in white on Elysian Island. Some kind of new wellness venture my dad's gonna invest in. I mean, that's all I can tell you! We need hard proof that these fuckers are behind the attack. Send me pictures of whatever evidence you find in there. Hey, can you hotwire this car? Good, we gotta move! I'm afraid our time isn't up yet. Ah, we need to get and I think we're going to get the best results face to face. Ah, what the We've fuck? We've got a lot to discuss. Who the hell are you? Oh, my apologies. My name is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander, PhD. I want us working together. Yeah? Well, what if I shit down your neck instead? <laughs> Coprophagic ideation. Fascinating. I wish we had time to explore it, but I'm afraid I need to expand your mind in another direction. I'm sure you know me from my wildly successful TV special and radio show, but deep down, I'm not just a celebrity. I'm a healer. I see our society in terminal catastrophic psychological decline, and only I can help. Only I have the cure. Psychedelic-assisted therapy with a new drug ten times more potent than psilocybin. That's why I founded the Freed Mind Pharmaceutical Corporation to produce the only medicine that can heal a broken spirit. Oh, listen to him. He'll drive you crazy. With this drug, I can bring peace to all. <laughs> I already have the precursor chemicals. 80% of the world's stockpile. All I need is your friend here. He's one of only three people in the world with a PhD in this precise field. Shut up, shut up. Wait, 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 wait. Is this what this is all about? <laughs> you want Labrack to crank out your shitty new drug on the cheap? I wanted him to be a pioneer, <laughs> to help me build a temple of peace and sanity deep in the jungles of South America. But I'm afraid his mind is too far gone to be useful to me. Yes! Your other accomplice, on the other hand... Really? Look at me! No, look at him! Come to South America! We'll be rich! Don't oh, look at him! Fuck you! But I'm gonna! Idiots! Degenerates! Do it, Lucha Chairs, Boo! You're blind! What's wrong with you? Why can't you see? This was the chairs! The only way! All I can see is this is pointless. Your time is up! Lights! What the fuck? Uh. Ow! Sorry! Where is he? Shit, with the car, we gotta move! Uh, uh. Thanks for your help getting this one back. We're gonna get Friedlander for this. I got a special move all saved up for him. Dax, I got a present for you! Dax! Lab Rat is back in the troop! But don't get down!
I got my doses all level and I'm feeling good! Good enough to go visit a piece of shit psycho corporate therapist and rip his balls off! You with me? The Fulgin train is coming! Isaiah Friedlander, you on the tracks! Choo choo! of the troops scoping out the rehab center up in Richmond Glen. Apparently that's where he's testing his new product. Let's get over there. Welcome to my little clinical trial. We're testing a hypothesis. Will a sufficiently large dose of my new formula cause you to become permanently insane? <laughs> ah, look at yourselves. Your troop. Oh, it's a circus, all right. Convulsed by father-mother syndrome, acting out in an orgy of self-destructive, narcissistic violence. Conventional therapy simply isn't enough for you. You need me. But alas, just as our degenerate society creates your pathology, so it also stigmatizes my cure. Freed mind pharmaceuticals. A revolutionary, highly affordable cure. Why is your instinct to kill the clown? Tell me about your fear of clowns. Recalling a bad experience at a birthday party, perhaps? Do the balloon animals trigger you? A trauma response to clowns. Very interesting. Are you in touch with your inner child? Not all clowns are bad. Some are evil. They're only scary because you let them be. It's okay. Just let the clowns hunt. There are no real consequences to death. You'll see. I hope you learn from the experience. You're beasts! Animals! Why can't you see this is the only way? I am the only way! I have the precursor chemicals. The virtual monopoly. Society is losing its mind just to... Take a look at the news. The conditions are perfect. My marketing campaign is going viral. I have dozens of celebrities signing up. My compound in the jungle is ready. Why must you stand in the way? It's natural to fear predators. Which one reminds you of yourself? Tell me, do you often dream of chimps? Violence towards animals is common in psychopaths. Show me your spirit, animal. I see your relationship with animals is strained. Why do you run from nature? It's natural to fear predators. Which one reminds you of yourself? Follow your animal instincts. Bond with them. Reverts to a primal state when stressed. Fascinating. Pubehead! That's what they called me. Pubehead. Gabo, who's a pubehead now, you hypersexual, neurocognitively impaired, snub-nosed little tramp? I am Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. PhD! While you were at the prom with that fucking Josh, where was I? Oh, that's right. Studying. Studying for this moment. And I will not be denied what I deserve by some band of freaks. Freaks! Freaks! Free fucker? And another free fucker? Guys! We are a free fucker overall! Free fucker! Come here! We can be your family! Don't wait to beat the crowd! Your own flaws hold you back! I fucking hate therapists! Look in the mirror! Confront yourself! I do not need to put a stop to you! I merely need to let you self-destruct! <laughs> <laughs> it all starts with you. Signs of self-loathing, I see. 
Your body language tells you that your stress levels will soon kill you. Release yourself! You're nearly healed and about to have a breakthrough. Hey, how you holding up after that trip? Last thing I remember was getting teabagged by my evil twin. Then I woke up with my junk stapled to the D of the Vinewood side. I gotta tell you, fresh meat, Freelander may be a human hemorrhoid, but he's got some good shit! I'm still getting some effed up visuals over here. Now, from what I remember, he's planning some kind of move to South America. I say no fucking way! We cut him off, take his whole stock as compensation, and leave him for the dogs. All we need is his location. I'll see if I can get any of his goons to squeal. Get down here when you can. Okay, I know you're like, Lucha, where the fuck am I in an airplane right now? Where's Dax? Well, he's interrogating some Freelander white coats with whippet torture. By the way, not pretty, but here are the results so far. Freelander is moving fast with that product he toasts us all with. He's already loaded it up on a cargo plane and is getting it ready for relocation to South America out of LSIA. So we're doing a hijack. Mid-air. Why? Because this is too big a robbery to do anywhere else. No witnesses, no ground chase, no more ideas about fucking with us. Shit. Can you fly this thing? I do so enjoy our sessions together. But I'm afraid your time is up! Forget him, it's the chemicals we're here for. And listen, we were going through Freed Fuck's stuff back at his lab, and we found something pretty cool for you. Lucha was like, that's carne fresca style. And I was like, fuck yeah it is! It's over there in the parking lot. Keys in the ignition, baby! Freedlander killed. Good taste may have finally died off in this town. Radio host and author Isaiah Friedlander was murdered by an unknown assailant yesterday. The psychiatrist only recently rose to fame following the publication of his hugely successful book about his relationship with an idiotic, if terrifying and amusingly deluded sociopath and apparently retired bank robber he codenames Marky DeSantos.